Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and if you have not seen the previous jokes on me, that's okay. We're just starting right where that one ended. I am even still wearing like the exact same clothes. But here is our game board and we are moving forward. These are the cards in my hand. I hope they all hear me that we are moving forward. I'm going to shuffle the cards a couple of times. Oh, I have a whole stack over here that we've already drawn in the last rounds that we played this. And I probably should put the cards back in there, but I'm not going to. Because I've already gotten a couple of sevens out of the way and one of the jokers. That means there's only one joker left in here. So, I am going to mix the cards a little bit. And I can't really decide what I want to do. Part of me wants to go ahead and do the next three draws because then I know what I'm reading. And part of me likes to draw, read that one, and then come back and draw again. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not traveling. So I have time to leave my stuff here. Not time, but I can leave my stuff here. So anyway, let me stop procrastinating. Here it is. I'm not even looking at it. What? A jack. Okay, unhaul. That means I have to get rid of a book? Okay, well the good news is I drew a card and I'm not, I don't have to read anything. I also don't get to move on the board. And it's weird because I literally just went through my shelves and unhauled over almost 200 books. But I do still have a couple more that I've been thinking about right on the edge. So I'm going to get rid of one of those. They're on the bookshelf over there, and the problem is that Django is asleep behind me, and if I get up, it'll disrupt the dog, so we can't do that. Oh, a four of hearts. What is four? No! <laughs> no, a four means we have to move backwards. One, two, three, four. A repeat author. Guys, I'm going straight to the 50 before 50, and I'm picking one of my favorites. It's going to be somebody, I'm sure. I'm going to go see what... Lexi Blake has in store for me and I'm probably just going to read the next Lexi Blake novel this this card deck you can hear hold on you can hear how much room is in here because I have drawn so many cards okay I'll probably be able to finish a Lexi Blake book today let's go look okay here they are all, all are loading in and we're doing this one what is this one adored Oh, it's a novella. For sure I can finish that one then. Okay, great. I'm going to go get this. I'm going to read this. And hopefully I'll be back and I can draw another one tonight. I'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> I was getting the book picked out. And then I was like, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be reading all these stinking books. Okay, I can't read the next Lexi Blake. But I, first of all, let's look at this really quickly. This is where I started. Let me make myself smaller. This is where I started with all of these books. This is what it looks like now with all the ones that I have read. These are the same things. They're just marked out. But I have added new books and I've gotten more NetGalley books. So this is the new one of everything that I need to read based on some other games that I've played and my NetGalley books. So now I need to see what on here is a repeat, repeat author. Okay, so I could jump like in the deep end and read Nosferatu. That has been on my list for a while. Okay, I realized there was one in there that I needed to take out because I had already finished it. Okay, so I've read Aaron McCarthy before. I've definitely read Nora Roberts, J.D. Robb. I've read Alexis Hall. I've read Adrian Tchaikovsky. I've read Stephen Graham Jones. I've actually read this book, but this is one of the only books on the list that's an actual reread. So I was trying to like hold off on it and not read it yet. I've read a ton of Laura Lee and I've read Reese Bowen and I've read Joe Hill. Hmm. Okay, part of me wants to read Nosferatu, but I've already put myself in the, the idea that I was going to read a romance. So I think I'm going to go with this Laura Lee that's on NetGalley. I've already got it ready to go on audio, so... I'm going to read that one. I need to read it anyway for NetGalley. So now that's what I'm going to go read. <laughs> and then I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay. Yes, I'm wearing the same jacket. No, it's not the same day. It's the next morning. I finished Play Dirty technically at 2 o'clock this morning when I should have been going to sleep. Anyway, <laughs> it is an ex-Navy SEAL 
situation. So if you've read any of those, like smutty romances about ex-Navy SEALs, I'm sure it was similar to that. I used to love Laura Lee. She was like a an autobi author for me. I really liked her shifter stories. I read everything that I could get my hands on. And I feel like um, I did the same thing with Christine Feehan. I read her dark series and they definitely all have the trope of like faded mate kind of your mind situation and I feel like my reading tastes are shifting or have shifted away from that I found myself doing quite a lot of eye rolls at the guy in this and I feel like past me would have just loved it so much so I don't know what that says about me as a reader or a person or whatever, but I um, I thought it was just okay. But anyway, that's where we are. And we do get to draw another card. I mean, I wouldn't hate a seven right now to get us across the board, but sevens are not my favorite just because, you know, what they've done to me in the past. So let's see. The last thing I drew was a four. Where did I put it? Oh, okay. I want to make sure I had the cards right. All right, I'm going to shuffle again. Ugh. And then we're just going to see what we get. Here we go. Oh, I did unhaul that book, by the way. So, I did that one. Okay. Oh, gosh. It's a king, which means I get to buy a book. Okay, that's good because I've kept two books on my list that are to buy and I chose not to read them at all yet it is Aggie Morton mystery edition and sex murder and a double latte okay I think I'm in the mood for some mystery so we're going for the murder mystery oh I don't know the middle grade does sound like it would be fun and it's middle grade so it'd be fast especially because I'm not even getting to move so we're gonna go with Aggie Morton because we're still not moving on the board we're just staying here so anyway here goes Aggie Morton, Mystery Queen. Okay, two things. Number one, I got a new webcam. Are you all excited as I am? Because I can tell you that I'm very excited. Okay, also, like, there's barely any glare. I mean, yes, there is a reflection of what I'm looking at, but I can't turn that off or you guys won't be able to see it. So, that has to stay on. Anyway, I am almost finished with Aggie Morton, Mystery Queen. I've been listening to it on and off all day today. So here's what I didn't know. She is Agatha Christie. Agatha something Morton is her name. And the boy behind her in the picture, let me see. I'm going to make it bigger. The boy behind you, behind her, his name is Hector Poirot. Poirot, I can't say it. But his name is Hector, which I can say a lot easier than the actual Poirot <laughs> detective. He's French, and he happens to be visiting this little town where Aggie lives. Okay, so anyway, I, I had no idea that that's what it was based on Agatha Christie and her famous character, Detective Poirot. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't know why I can't say that word. Anyway, I'm almost finished with it. I have less than an hour. However, it's about 1030 at night and I'm going to go upstairs and lay in my bed and finish the book and I want to draw what's next. So I have already shuffled like twice while I was waiting on my stuff to load. So here we go. And you guys can see, it. oh, it's a two. I have to do the prompt try twice. <sighs> but, oh, it's a readathon. Okay. I can't believe I get to move two spaces. What is happening? <laughs> Here's all the ones. I have drawn two cards and I have to read three books in two cards and I've moved two spaces. Mm. Okay. Well, I get to read two of my readathon books. So here they are. Well, here are all the books that I have. Let me see which ones. I'm trying to put the cards away as well while I'm looking. I don't even know that I have two books left on my bingo board. Let me go look at the bingo board. Oh, okay. I have The Vines, Death and the Conjurer, and 10,000 Doors of January. So I have three books. So since I have to read two of those three, I'm going to first check Libby and see if I have any of them on Libby. Okay, the only one that's on Libby is The 10,000 Doors of January. So I will definitely be reading that one. I'm going to read that one first. That one is 12 hours. The Vines is on Everand. 
and Death and the Conjurer is on NetGalley. So I'm going to read The 10,000 Doors of January first next and then i'll come back and tell you about it and we'll decide what the next one's going to be it's honestly i don't know it says it's a locked room mystery a joseph specter lock room locked room mystery and it's on net galley which will be nice and give me one more thing that i can mark off of net galley so that is gonna do it i am so excited for the 10,000 doors of doors of January. It's also the last one I have for the after hours TBR and it is on the new Allison Spinner Wheel TBR. So, I'll get to mark it off two times, which is nice. So, even though I barely got to move anywhere, it's also Let's see, where is it over here? Down here. So it'll get me a bingo this way and this way and not this way. But it'll get me two more bingos, which will be nice on my card. I'm very close to blacking out the whole thing. So, okay. But here we go. The 10,000 doors of January after I finish Aggie, which I'm almost done with. So I'll report back in the morning or probably when I finish January, maybe if it's got things happening, I'll come report in while I'm reading it. But anyway, let's all praise be to the new camera that I got. I, I'm obsessed. I love it. First of all, I don't know how I'm square. Like, I'm square. <laughs> I, it makes me square, and I don't know how to change those settings for right now. So for right now, I'm square, and then I will hopefully be able to fix it. I see that we're having some focus issues as well so I may end up having to turn off the autofocus but it's so much better than it was before so anyway this is not the show about the webcam but so much better okay I'm going to read and go to bed okay no I've still not figured out how to make me not a square but I finished the 10,000 doors of January it was so much more whimsical than I was expecting it was almost like a story that you think of when you're a kid and the the basic premise of it and then you just write it as an adult with like adult themes and actual plot but but the basic premise is what if there were just doors to other worlds and you could go through them. <laughs> so we're following January as she discovers that there are doors to other worlds and what that means and how come she's probably not the first person to discover these doors and just everything. She finds a book that kind of explains things to her about other people who may have gone through doors and so we just follow along as this girl is learning about the doors and I don't want to give away anything else so that's all I'm going to say and then my other two options were the vines or death and the conjurer and as you can see I have chosen to go with death and the conjurer because well because it's the only one I could find right now in my notes I put that the vines was on Everand but when I go to Everand to search for it it's not there and I feel like since Scribd changed its name to Everand they don't have all the catalog that they used to have like they still have a ton of books don't get me wrong but some of the ones that I feel like I saved before are just no longer on their site period so I don't know but anyway so I don't have the vines I have to go figure out how to get it otherwise and it's not at my library either it's not on Libby at all in any of the libraries that I have cards for on Libby so I don't I don't know how to get it other than paying for it which means it just gets a little dollar sign on it and when I get a buy a book then I could read the vines so anyway all that means is I'm going to read Death and the Conjurer and I will probably come back before I go to bed tonight and go ahead and draw the next card in case I finish Death and the Conjurer in bed tonight. I know what I'm going to be reading next. So that is it. That's where we are. And let's see, that's the third book. Maybe after Death and the Conjurer, maybe I won't actually draw the next book because Maybe we'll just end it with Death and the Conjurer. So anyway, I thought Django was going to wake up and say hello. So I'll come back and talk after I finish Death and the Conjurer. Okay, so we have a couple of things to talk about. Death and the Conjurer was okay. It was not 
amazing, but it was okay. And it was definitely closed door mystery, but I feel like it was more of like an elaborate magic trick explanation that the author kind of wanted to explain or to show how it could work. I don't know. I just feel like in order for the murder to have happened the way it did in the book, there would have had to been the timing of everything was perfect. Like the people showing up, the people discovering the body, somebody else coming that just happens to not know anything. And so, I don't know. It seemed a little too convenient, but it was... It was okay. And I finished. So that means that I am done with this round of Jokes on Me. Or not this round, this episode. Wow. And who knows when I'm going to finish this game. Like I really thought that this would just be a quick little thing that I would do during the month of March. And now we're moving into the month of April and this game is still happening. So I'm just going to keep going though because the whole month of April I am reading my Aurelium Academy books, but I can only read those during certain times during the day when I have those classes. So the other times of the day, I'm still going to be doing this and trying to get these TBR books all read. So April is going to be more jokes on me and then starting May 1st or sometime around the beginning of May, the end of April, beginning of May, we will start new TBR games. So I already have Amy from A Star Reads, who has played her game for me, and I have those clips that I am so excited to play the game of life with Amy, and then somebody else commented a couple of weeks ago about a game on their channel using categories, so I went over there and watched their game, and I'm going to be adding that one into the rotation, and then you can see my stack of ones behind me. I do have somebody who had a suggestion for the guess who game over here that we could maybe do together. So we have a lot of cool games coming up, but we're trying to get, I'm trying to get these down a little bit before we move into that. So anyway, one more, one more episode done still on the top row of this game. So I don't know. I don't know what that means, but I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.